Alrighty, good afternoon everybody. I'm David, this is Final Touch Auto Detailing, and today we're going to be working on a motorcycle. Uh, yeah, that should be apparent, I guess. But, what we got here is a motorcycle. The customer bought it from another person, and the other person kind of kept it in storage of sorts for a while. And it's gotten a little bit dusty. It's been under a cover, but there was cobwebs. It hadn't been ridden a whole lot lately, uh, the best I, I know. And we'll get in a little bit closer and you can see. It's, it's got, some, uh, got some scuffy marks here and there. A lot of dust. The chrome is... It's not terrible, but it could use some polishing. There's some um, water spots here and there a little bit. Kind of let you see a little bit closer. See how it's a little scuffy? That's not too bad. And the mirrors are good looking. Uh, the plastic up here, there's a couple bugs down in there. When you get around here though, it's, it's a little bit rough. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. But what I'm going to be doing, I'll tell you about it, and then I'm going to show you a lot of video footage on this one. So this might be a long video it could be an hour but yeah if you want to check it out stick around and watch it and see some fun stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna set this thing up and let you watch and start with i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use compressed air to blow as much dirt off of this as possible because even though we'll be using water with optimum no rinse it will still have some lubrication but the more stuff we can get off of there the better we're going to be that, we don't want to instill any more damage than there already is. I'm going to put this on the tripod back here and we'll get you a wide view and just let you watch from here a little bit.
Guys, just a quick update on where we're at and what we what I've got going on here. We use the optimum no rinse to effectively wash the bike, kind of get that first layer of dirt off of it after we blew a lot of loose dirt off of it with compressed air. Done a little bit of polishing on some of the chrome on this side. Now, I haven't really gone to the other side, but kind of cleaned off the chrome, used some polish on it. Got that uh, brightened up quite a bit over here. I wouldn't say it's a night and day difference, but you know, just kind of the smaller things. The top of that head cover, what? The side on this one, and a little bit on the top from where I can reach in. I got to, I got to get in there a little bit better. Uh, the air filter pipes, this part here, that part there. I don't know what you call every single part on everything. Seems. Bottom of that foot peg. Uh, I need to come back over here a little bit. I just kind of touched on that spot. I was mainly focused on the pipe and then kind of went towards the front. But I got to come back this way. And then, of course, there's a bunch of other chrome parts. But for now, I'm going to finish polishing on some chrome. And then I'm going to get the polishing machine out and start working on some of the stuff like this. Don't know how well that's going to improve. It, it's a little rough, but I don't think it's terrible. And then you just see some of these minor little scratches in it. That's just from where it's been loved by the previous owner. I mean, whatever it is that's caused that. And kind of walk you around, let you see a little better. And turn that other light on so you can catch some of those reflections a little better. I mean, it's just been loved a lot. I don't know what caused this. I don't know, maybe the previous owner went through a tree branch or something. But, I mean, you see it's it's got quite a bit of swirls. There's a little stuff still stuck on up here. Let's see what we can't do about getting that off. i got a feeling that's going to look a lot better. But Polishing the paint might look a little better than uh, watching me polish chrome. So I'll put you up on the tripod here in just a few minutes and let you see what polishing the paint looks like. I'm halfway out, just trying to lose you now. It was 
it's an illusion now Yeah, I just wanna see you out To give it up Leaving all your texts on red With the games you left now Give it up Sick of all the things you said Get in my head now So I don't wanna know
Alrighty guys, so just kind of an update on where we are so far. We've got this bike, at least everything that's on the bike now polished up. Nice and glossy up here. Got the chrome taken care of around the ring of the headlight. Forks, these bars. Now we've got a, a little bit of sling from the polish still on there. That'll be the, the thing I'll wipe off last. Not too concerned with that right now, but. Got all that cleaned up. I'm about to clean the wheels and tires. We're gonna be breaking out the steam machine with that. Get this back fender looking a lot more glossy. I don't know, maybe you wanna look at that in shave or the chrome. But yeah, there's a few places in here that, you know, when I'm going around it again for the final time, if I see anything that we need to address, then we'll take care of that. I see a little bit of dirt right here. We'll get that wiped off too, but just, Trying to give you an update on what's happening. Where the seat was riding on this. Actually, I can barely see it through the camera. You might be able to see it better than I can, but right here, and there was some right over here too, where the seat sits up here was just rubbing on that and kind of damaged the paint a little bit. It's not terrible, but uh, you know, when you put the seat back, you're not gonna see it, I guess. All right, so let me put the camera up on the tripod and I'll let you watch me some today.
Mutants, what have you learned?
Alrighty guys, thanks for sticking around. This video was probably actually long if I put in all the clips to at least to some extent, but hey, we're here. And if you've made it this far, you know, that's a that's the next step in our relationship. We're we're committed now. You, you gotta hit that like button if you haven't already. Hey, jokes aside, let's talk about what we did real quick. Uh polished the chrome. Uh basically I used mother's chrome polish used an old foam pad to get over all that chrome. Now this bike wasn't perfect when we got it. This was not a brand new bike. It looks a whole lot better now. I think most people would agree. Uh, underneath all that dust and dirt and such and cobwebs, there, there's a pretty awesome looking motorcycle under here. Gosh, I love the color. Don't know what all I showed you as far as polishing it. Can't remember, it's been over the course of a couple days. Polish the tank. Fender fairing, I think is what we call that. Maybe the windscreen, that's also a fairing, who knows. Sea quartz leather coating on the leather seat. Sea quartz UK 3.0 on all the painted parts. Of course, we had the saddlebags off. We got all up in the, the thingamajigs and all that fun stuff. Had the plate off. Uh, what else did we do? All oh, those little pieces here on the side got up all in the on the swing arm of course you know dirt gets everywhere it's a motorcycle chrome polished paint polished double coated c quartz uk 3.0 and uh no i'm not going to make any jokes about ceramic coating the disc on there that might have been a terrible joke not going to do that up in here i'm, I'm sure some bugs will get in there we've got ceramic coating in there as far as we can get it from both sides I'm, I, hey if you like the bike if you like the video yeah thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe if you want to if you don't want to that's okay i know you'll be back for more uh righty we're gonna get this uh owner notified that uh, they can come pick up their bike whenever they want to uh, it's probably going to be tomorrow because i know they're busy but hey if you like it you love it let's get around it one more time
All right. Thumbs up. Next time. Bye.